Then it's Revenant. That's early. I don't think we saw the Revenant this early before. Hey everybody, welcome back to Battlestar Galactic Deadlock Reinforcement Pack. I keep forgetting how to say that. Chris here. And in the last uh, video we took care of a warband, which got us some lovely RP and some lovely Tylium, but we now have to do Fleet Group Daedalus. We're going after the Mark II Vipers and the Artemises and the Rangers. That's a lot in one mission. I'm okay with that though. Um, anyway, our fleet is a little bit more beefy. So, fingers crossed, we should be uh, okay. Um, for those who don't know, the, this mission here, normally, or well, the, the first version of the game, you only got the Mark II Vipers here. And you didn't get the Artemis and the Ranger until much, much later in the game. Um, but because reinforcement packs come out, we've got other ships. Um, this mission seems to be like you get the Artemis, the Ranger, and the Mark IIs, which is an awful lot of firepower if you can build them. Um, but, therefore, I am feeling that we're going to have a lot of resistance. And given the fact we've already dealt with the anti-fighter destroyer that the Cylons have now, um, yeah, this could be a pretty tough fight. I may even fail. That'll suck. Let's do this. So yeah, people who watched the last video, you will know that we uh, took on I cannot figure out how to say it. Is it Ceresus? Ceresus? Cer it's an anti-viper uh, destroyer. So, that's what we're going with. Um, right. I've got things kind of mixed up in the around here, but I'm going to stick them all together. Like my normal kind of stack, my pancake stack of uh, adamants. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll stick you there. Oop. No, got oh, you, okay. We'll leave the Berserk class out of the stack because it will last all of about 30 seconds. It seems to be like a bullet magnet, so we're going to leave it back there. Uh, obviously, we've got the Manticore up front because that is our scout. We don't have access to any. Viper Mark II yet, or any kind of torpedoes or anything. I don't, I don't think we have torpedoes. No, if we have, I haven't bought. Oh, we have proximity mines. Mm. That could be interesting. Proximity mines. Magazine stack, salvo one. Interesting. Standard proximity munition. Dreadus IFF sensors determine when. Our star unit breaches the detection range, at which point the munition releases an explosive shrapnel payload, damaging all ships within the blast area. Ooh. When I have more ships in my uh, fleets, I think that might be a good option, especially for something like the Manticore, something that's fast. Maybe the Adamant? I don't know. That is definitely something that's going to be a, a thought out kind of work. There you go, Admiralty Board. Your next job figure out how to use the uh, proximity mines effectively. What ship should I put them on? Tactics. I'm sure Admiral Steel Grade will enjoy that challenge. And Admiral Painter. Okay, here we go. Got my coffee. Everything's good. It's very, very fresh. Ow. Ha. Come on, computer. Get us in there. We got ships we want to get. Yeah. Well, the blueprints anyway. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump. Multiple Dreadus contacts, Commander. Here we go. Scorpion Intel has already confirmed hostile bogeys. I knew they were under pressure out here, but this is the worst I've seen the Scorpion shipyards. Incredible they can get anything done Atlas. in these conditions. We have an Atlas. 
Alright. Um, we will slow you guys down. So say we all. On it, Commander. Berserk, you will do a hard left. We want you behind the adamants. Uh, Manticore, boost Dreyas range. Push you forward, and as for everything else, we will launch the Vipers, and we'll use the Berserk class as kind of like the staging area for them. As soon as we figure out what they've got, we'll send them in. But if they've got a... Or the, the, is it Ceres? I think it's Ceres. I think that's how you say it. Well, if they've got one of them, then we're going to have to take that out first. Missile Barrage comes to mind. Um, but in the meantime, do, 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 do. Go. Talon, Talon, unless they've got something else there, which would be really nice if they've got something that can launch two wings of uh, raiders. I'm gonna yes, sir. put you up just a little bit higher, Manticore. Um, elements keep turning. On it, Commander. Bring the. Berserk behind the adamants. Um, it's a lot more maneuverable, the Berserk carrier, compared to the adamants. It's faster, and it has a faster up and down range as well. Also, turns quicker as well. So, it's a very maneuverable craft. It's just purple pants with painted trim when it comes to being able to accept a bit of damage. Uh, we need to put our groups into squadron groups, so you two can be staying red squadron. I'll have you as blue. Sign group. Blue squadron, thank you. I must have not clicked it properly. Sign group, yellow, awesome. Alright. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Alright, we're going to have to commit the Vipers. Yes, sir. I particularly want to, but... Got to protect the Manticore. Uh, do we want one more turn that way? We can swing it back this way. Go. Come on. Let me see. Revenant. That's early. I don't think we saw the Revenant this early before. Actually, let's On it, Commander. turn you guys around. Yes, Commander. I want to keep them lined up. Don't want them getting all out of shape. Yes, Commander. Uh, vipers are on their way in. Yes, sir. Turn the manticore that way. Go. Nemesis. Hostile unit identified. All right, we've got our ships. Three more? Seeing hostile contacts not engaged in the fighting. They appear to be scouting the Scorpio fleet's wreckages. They'll be scavenging for ammunition. Destroy the wreckages Three before more. the Cylons can turn our own slugs against us, Commander. Commander, a word? 
I don't often have the luxury of investigating field damage. A few moments of footage before you destroy those hulls could provide invaluable data. Okay, um, we know what we've got there, so we need to deal with the raiders here first. They've certainly cranked up the difficulty on this. So say we all. We're going to have to go with a missile barrage on the Revenant because that's the biggest threat we have. We can take out Nemesis and... Missile tubes prepped. Uh, Talons with guns. It's not ideal. You have to be quick about it, especially with the Nemesis. But it's doable. Yeah, we'll be in range of that, so focus on you. Let's get some damage on that man uh that talon. If we can. Go. Missiles incoming. Manticore is taking damage. Not surprised. Boost you, in fact, let's get you out of there. How are Vipers doing? Oh, no, you even get the uh, Raider Squadron's fire arcs. Oh, no, it's just the Vipers. Okay, uh, Radio Squadron is always dead, so we'll take you. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We will, you know. Understood. I think we'll be alright. Slow you down. Bring the Berserk's guns into Understood. play. On it, Commander. Alright, go. It's got a lot of firepower, this Berserk. It really has. Alright, what have you got? Front armor is almost vaporized. You should be, yeah, you'd be right in good firing range with that. Okay. So say we Keep all. Keep core coming down. Two more turns. Uh, Vipers. Kind of need to deal with these guys. Give him a pass on the revenant. At least make him think of something else. Understood. Uh, you're doing that. You are still beating on that. Which means you should have it dead within the next turn. Yes, sir. We've got Berserk about to take on the revenant's forward sections. Yeah, we're good. Subsystem is back online. All right. OK. 
Cool. Um, right. Adamant. Focus fire. Yeah, on that. Clicking on the wrong thing there. That was annoying. One more turn for missiles. Uh, we need to take you off boost. The rear armor is shredded, but the so front armor are. is perfectly fine. So I'll add your guns to the Berserk. I've got a feeling the Berserk might take down the Revenant in like three turns, and that'd be awesome. Um, they're attacking the Revenant. It's not necessary anymore. We'll send you each over to deal with these. You are attacking there. You're attacking there, and we've just marked you for attacking there. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. All right, adamants are taking care of a nemesis. On it, commander. Uh, we've got the berserk and the manticore going after the revenant, which they should take down. Then we can do a, a salvo missiles next turn. Vipers are going to go and take care of these fighters. That means that they should be three talons. We should be okay. I think. Go on! That was nice. That was very, very nice. So say we all. Yes, Commander. You keep firing on that. Uh, how are we doing on adamants? Going after the hangar. All right. Um, missile salvo. That one. And we're going to crank you up to attack. Adamants. Missile Salvo. You. Missile Salvo. You. Missile Salvo. You. Understood. Alright, that's four Missile Salvos all going at the same Nemesis. That should take it down. This one shouldn't last much longer. And this Revenant's dead. Vipers are going to take out these fighters, so they should be okay. Goodbye. One broadside, and that nemesis is gone. Focus your fire, forget that. We've got the Vipers dealing with that after the Talon. Yeah, this is not great, but we are okay. We've got the right side for dealing with these guys later. Um, yeah, you just need to. Focus. Prepare the hang on. Focus. Yes, let's take out that nemesis. You're attacking the Talon, right? Yep, you sure are. Here we go. Concentrated firepower. <laughs> awesome. On it, Commander.
All right. Um, and they're dealing with the... Select target. Go. Yes, sir. You're attacking that with 37 health. You're attacking that with 39. All right. Yep, we're good. We are very, very, very good. Okay. Go. Another Talon bites the dust. That's a heavy raider squadron they're going after, so it might be a little bit tougher to take down. Uh, we will send the Berserk in because he should be able to deal with that new problem. Probably have to deal with these. Let's put you on to normal speed. Get you over there. Until you, after you finish your turn, then we'll make the, the run quick. Would you please die? Done. Where are you going? Guys, why are you attacking? Um. Attack target unidentified. Well, we know, yeah, we know that they're... Uh, Their talents, so uh, let's get some hits in early. Yes, sir. Berserk. Focus fire. Oh, no, you can't. You can't. Okay. Uh, cancel that then. Um, I was going to get them Estimator. to deal with that. Understood. All right, we're gonna to have to get the vipers to deal with these guys. Um, let's get ships inside first. There we go. Hostile unit Commander. identified. I gave you an order, sir. The commander was she following did. up on a request from Sinan for damage reports before. Mr. Quaid is not in command of this fleet, Lieutenant. Destroy those wreckages now. Hey, see, if it was she was trying to destroy the wreckages because they had secret information that she like was being bad or something. I would understand the whole kind of raw. But we're winning the battle. So what matters if they get destroyed now or later? Yeah, just it feels a bit wrong to me. Uh, can we focus fire on maybe that or that? Yep, you can do that. Okay. On it, Commander. So say we all. Uh, let's let the Manticore. We'll get the Vipers to come back and deal with these. Actually. Select target. Oh. Understood. And you select target. That one. That one. Thank you. Alright, so you should be targeting adamant wreckage, adamant wreckage, adamant wreckage. Awesome. On it, Commander. We'll do you a sharp turn because we want the Adams to catch up with you. Um, and everyone will fire their lovely, lovely missiles at that talent because, well, it's there. Yes, Commander. Uh, 
and it looks like it needs, you know, presents. It's Christmas, for crying out loud. <laughs> Go. Come back, destroy the targets, please. Um, and you will, yeah, keep going. One down. Let's give you a greatest boost. Understood. Want the adamants to be on the, the we'll take the talons down there. Starboard side. <laughs> but other than that, it doesn't really matter where they shoot from. Another one down. Guys, come on. Deal with it. Uh, one more turn and we get more missiles, so that's pretty cool. Thank you. Awesome. Right. Don't go back there. We need you. What the frack? Commander, all hostiles are disengaging. Cool. Admiral Kane isn't happy with us, but at least we stopped the Cylons from salvaging any more ammo from those Scorpion ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is becoming rash in her decisions. That was valuable data we could have used. She forgets she must prove the stability of Colonial Fleet to the Quorum. Well, if the Cylons keep running away, maybe you can finally finish building those Jupiters. And build us one while you're at it. We could do with the firepower. Right, Commander? Always. 58% accuracy, but 215 damage. That's from the Berserk. You see, it, it is a good, powerful ship. It's just because it is so flimsy. It just can't take much damage. So you're kind of caught in a weird position. You want to use it, because I really do, because the damage it can do is amazing. But at the same time, you're constantly scared to actually put it out in the field, because it... Well, one scrape, and suddenly the whole thing's decompressing. I certainly think they have nerfed the adamants. Maybe just a tiny bit, but they have done it. Uh, maybe to make the Berserk more relevant, but because of its lack of armor. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having like an adamant class without missile barrages. Maybe make it uh, like a um, small atlas, you know, it's faster, it's not as heavily armed or armoured, but it carries two wings of vipers. That would make it a really powerful tool to use, and it would be a, you know, do you want missiles or do you want vipers? You know, so you could actually merge the Berserk class with the Adamant class and put them together and it would be a really good combination. It wouldn't be, well I need missiles. But do you though? You can have a second squadron of Vipers. But anyway. It was a good fight. Uh, let's replay. Oh. We have a slow start. I think that's going to be kind of the staple of this playthrough. Everything kind of moving a bit slower, a bit more deliberate. I need the Manticore to do my scouting for me now. I, just, I have to. It needs to be there. Um, simply because it, I can't risk my Vipers with that um, anti-Viper unit. Just can't. Do need the white mark too, so I'm going to get them first. That's the first thing I'm going to pick up. So important. Whoa. 
wondering if they've nerfed the revenants as well. I don't know. One thing for certain, the Zerk class, if you can make sure it's not getting shot, you can take down the revenant really quickly. Those guns are just more powerful than the elements. I think the adamants have got more like low caliber weapons, whereas the the Zerk has got that kind of medium caliber arsenal. The missile salt, I'm not gonna lie about that. The missiles definitely help. Two nemesis what, what, three moves? That's nice. Okay. Um, and then we just basically we killed, destroyed the, the raiders. And then they jumped out after we destroyed those wreckages. Which... One of my viewers did say, um, Berserk was like a Talon. And I think it's the opposite of a Talon. And bear with me here. Yes, it has a squadron. But whereas the Talon has pretty substantial armor for its size, it doesn't have a lot of guns. Whereas Berserk is the other way around. It has a lot of guns and not much armor. Just my fault. Comment section. Discuss. Alright, uh, can you finish destroying that please? Because then the video ends. Yay! Alright, mission accomplished. Freak. Unlock Ranger Artemis and Viper Mark IIs. Uh, well, I want the Viper Mark IIs because they just, they're force multipliers. They really are. But, we also got access to torpedoes, the Artemis Battlestar, the Ranger. Don't know which one of these is the Yanis, but I would like, I want the Yanis because I really, I, that ship looks just. Wow. You know, looking at the um, shipyard, dockyard, there's a channel. I can't remember the name of the channel. Um, I think it's shipyard or something like that um, on YouTube. They do, they've done a whole series on all the different ships in um Space dock, that's what it is. Space dock. I knew it was something like that. Um, go on there because you get a whole list of uh, the, all the different ships in the Battlestar. They do all sorts of ships and different sci fi things, but the Battlestar Galactica, they've got all the colonial ships and a couple of the uh, Cylon ships, but they do kind of break down. And the Yanis just looks all oh, beefy. Oh, yes. Slow, but just like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch you in a sprint, but a battle's a. A marathon and you just can't can handle the kind of five power I can deliver and I can absorb whatever you've got it just it's that kind of thing um, but we are going to get the Viper Mark II they are important I'm picking them up um, and I will work to get probably the Artemis next I don't know we'll see Artemis is pretty much the mainstay of my entire uh, fleet we have another warband, and what we have up here, hostile contacts. Alright, we're going to check that. Cylon forces have been interfering with travelers between the colonies. No civilians are currently okay. present, so maximum force is encouraged. That was 500 each way. We've been tracking this Cylon strike 600 for a each while way. now. No civilians are present, so maximum force is encouraged. Alright, what have you? You've just got the 
that's it. That's all you've got. All right, we need uh, 120 titanium to get to Ragnar. Um, no. <laughs> we definitely need to get you another another uh, adamant at the very least. What have we got in the way? Of, have we got any promotions due, Daedalus? Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Well, we could jump. Colonial 7 back to here. Um, speaking of which, we're going to change that. We'll call it our scout fleet. Scout fleet 1. That's a exclamation mark, Chris. Scout fleet 1. Done. Um... We could jump them back here and link up the Halsey with them. That'll bring them up to maximum fleet points. And we could probably build a second fleet to go that way. We have the Tylium to do it. I'm just... I'm starting to think maybe you need a Berserk Carrier in each fleet. Because of the firepower. If you can get them to concentrate on the adamants first, then the Berserk can do obscene amounts of damage quickly. I don't know. I'm going to stop here. Comment section. Let me know what you think. Because, yeah, I want to use the Berserks because I like the firepower they can do. It's the damage they can't sustain that's the problem. So let me know what you think. We'll leave it right here. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like what you saw, then please do consider subscribing. Um, there's also uh, two other playthroughs going on the channel at the moment. I've got one with fellow YouTuber Commissar Roach. Um, it's a Hearts of Iron 4 DLC. DLC? Playthrough? I know what I meant. We're co oping uh, <laughs> We're both uh, playing as Germany, so uh, it's kind of like him teaching me in the first couple of episodes because I've not played Art of Iron a lot so he's kind of walking me through different things different ways of playing um, and then I think it's going to be a case of when we take on the allies and things like that it's going to be me doing one front him doing the other and kind of mix matching the um, the research and things just as things go along um, and also I've got Battlefleet Gothic Armada running uh, which I did a live stream yesterday which kind of went badly to begin with and then kind of picked up towards the end so there's three hours worth of gameplay on that you can watch uh, all in one piece but until next time you lot take care of yourselves I'll see you there bye bye